Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 167. Uh, the quote today is, The truth will set you free, but first it will really piss you off. Piss you off means make you angry. It's a very common way that we say to make somebody angry. We say that somebody will piss you off. you got to be a little careful. It might be a little offensive. It's definitely strong. It's definitely emotional. Okay, um, really, this quote, could be credited to many different people, so that's why I didn't give it a really any specific person a credit. So let's look at the note here. This quote has been credited to numerous famous people, including Gloria Steinman. She was a famous feminist, so it was, I'm sure it was about feminism. Uh, Joe Klaus, I think he was another author that was trying to maybe write a self-help book or a book about happiness. Uh, so he's one author. Uh, Anna uh, Castine Stewart, another author, but she's a romance novelist. So um, uh, I don't want to speculate on what she means by it, but they all used it obviously for different reasons. They were all trying to say something different, and they were all looking at it from a different aspect when they were using it. Uh, David Icke, uh, well, he's one that you know might refer to later. I think he was originally a soccer player. Uh, and, but then later on in life, he went into where he was talking about a lot of secret things about a lot of governments uh, that they did and their agenda behind it and their reason behind it. So he said it. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, uh, you know, famous comedian, even though he's had his problems recently. Uh, but he was using it in a joke. Uh, Aaron Brockovic, uh, yes, that was the character that Julia Roberts played about that woman that was trying to help those people with that, that company threw a lot of sewage in their water and they were all getting sick from it. So obviously it must have been about that. But you could you could just look. You could look here, there's about six different people. They all use it, they all use some version of this quote. So this is a very, very common quote. Alright, let's let's continue with the note here. Uh, the first part of this quote we know for sure was a biblical verse, uh, John 8.32. Remember, that's the New Testament, you know, uh, again, the New Testament, the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So uh, I guess John from the Bible actually used this originally. Uh, and his part was just, uh, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But there was nothing about pissing somebody off or making anybody angry. So the quote up here is slightly different. But we know for sure this was the first version of it, or the first part of it. Um, let's continue. The six names above are connected with some version of the extended quote. Yeah, I mentioned that. Uh, this quote is now often heard on alternative media about many things that, go that the government secretly has done and hidden from the public over the years as more people start to become aware of these things. They often say they have been red-pilled uh, in reference to a scene from the first Matrix movie. Uh, yeah, so I remember in the first Matrix movie, I think, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the character that uh, uh, Ken, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Ken Reeves play, Neo, he's offered the two pills. He's offered a red pill and a blue pill. And uh, the red pill, he'll know the truth. Uh, he says, the blue pill, you can go back to sleep and just go on with your life and think whatever you want to think. But once you take that red pill, once you find out the truth, it's kind of like you can't go back. There's no other way back. So that's why people sometimes use that. Um, in order to, uh, uh, when people start to awaken to the real truth, the first reaction is the anger phase. So if people found out that a lot of things that they, they learned in the history books, a lot of things we've been told on the news, it was not really quite the way we think it is. And we find out that there were other people behind it, and they misled us, and there was, there was not good intentions. It was not for the benefit of uh, the American people or, or people all around the world. Uh, they'd be quite angry. Uh, when you find this out, if, if you start to realize that was the real truth. So that's, that's kind of what they mean here.
Uh, that's where this quote comes in. This work becomes involved in it. The truth will help you realize how you have been deceived for so long, but it is often better to know the truth than to live a lie. Or, uh, like a previous quote I just did by Julian Assange, you know, you can't begin to solve the problem or can't even begin to address it until you realize the truth. Everything starts with the truth. So, anyway, I hope you got it. Uh, I hope it's clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time.